Dodger Stadium in the parking lot after the game. See all those red lights out there? 56,000 people coming out of this game. And you know what? Whoever designed it, whatever person was in charge of designing Dodger Stadium, only put two exits. So basically it clogs up. And that's a basic analogy of all the opportunity there is in the world for you because everywhere you turn, businesses, new trends, it's full of people who don't put their best effort in. So if you do, if you have more skills, if you build your knowledge base, you bring more energy, you can either start a company yourself or become a consultant and have other people pay you. you know? And that's, that's, that's a good fitting metaphor and analogy for what's, what's going on in the world out there. Sing it, Zach. Wave is gonna die. The wave's dying. Ready? There's about four people. Kenna, wave, we're the only ones. <laughs> it's already passed and you can't even see anybody. Here we go. Yeah. Oh. oh no! No! That takes us one. Damn it! Come on! Come on! Oh no, oh, baby! Zach, how are your Cubs doing? Are you Cubs helping them? need me. Well, I'm a Giants fan, but I'm rooting for the Cubs. They need me right now. I'm going to stand up. Come on, Cubs. Got some Marines here. Respect to the troops. What are we calling out for the rest of the series, Rome? Uh, I don't know. I think the Dodgers are going to close them out in seven, though. Six Frank? games. Dodger Stadium. Dodgers just won. What was the score, Rome? Craig? Six zero. Six zero. Six zero. Can we make it to the World Series? One thing I was going to say. A lot of people think there's not a lot of opportunity in the world, but this is the best analogy. You see out there how the Dodgers stadium was designed very poorly. I love the Dodgers, but not, not the exits. It's probably the worst, and that is how everything in life is. Once you get good at business, entrepreneurship, every business you run into, you'll find a way you can improve on it. So you could either start the business yourself or become a consultant and help other businesses. And I see that everywhere. Now, I'm not saying necessarily you'll be able to come and fit here. Let's walk. We can walk and talk here. Uh, I'm not saying you got to fix the Dodgers stadium. What would you think of that game, Zach? Uh, I was not too happy with it, but I guess the silver lining is that I got to see a bunch of grown men wearing jerseys. <laughs> so I got some laughs. You're wearing a SeaWorld hat. It's not a jersey. It's a SeaWorld hat. It's not another man's jersey or another man's name on it. Yeah, it's a fish's. Um, so that's what I said. There's big opportunities in life because just about anywhere you turn, you can either do it better than people, and it's because humans are naturally lazy. So if you could be a little bit ahead of the game, a little bit less lazy than most people, uh, you go far. You go real far, actually. And Warren Buffett billionaire said when he got out of college into the workforce he thought he was intimidated he thought it'd be hard to find a job he thought it'd be hard to start his own company because there are so many amazing people in the workplace and then he said once he got out into the workplace he realized most people weren't putting in a real effort they weren't that good bowling skills Zach let's see come on man uh oh Rome, you almost had a strike. You got one left. Can you knock it down? All right, Kenna, make up for it. You missed this time. Let's go. You missed last time. You got it this time. Oh, there you go. It's your final one to win it all. Beat both teams. Can you do it? Oh, he walks off like Larry Bird. I always wanted to meet this dude. Every single time when I finally met him, your girl was good. yelling out, Ty Lopez. I was like, who is that? <laughs> That's Thank awesome. You. Good to meet you. Made it home. Zach.
But uh, so Warren Buffett, you know, he graduates from college, thinks it'll be hard to get a job because everybody will be so good and skilled. And then he says he didn't find qualified people in the workplace. And so the lesson is, is that never be intimidated by your surroundings, the workplace, the country you live in. Never be uh, intimidated by potential recessions, economies going into depression because there's always room. And Joel Salatin used to tell me this. He said, Ty, the cream always rises to the top. You know, always rises to the top. What did he mean by that? He meant, well, the cream, i.e. the skilled people. And you can be skilled no matter your background. That's what I love about a world where you get paid in proportion to the effort you put in, you know? And that's fair, it's just. Now, it's not perfectly just in the modern world, but the basic framework of if you go, you put in the time, you read, you get the mentors, you practice, you execute experiments, and when they don't work slightly, you, you modify them. You be hungry for the truth and, and, and passionate about really investing in your own mind. And you know what happens? Doors start to open. For Warren Buffett, made him the, one of the richest men ever. Doesn't have to make you the richest person in the world, but it can bring you a life that you'll enjoy, that'll be fulfilling, where you're helping the world and helping yourself and your family. And so what else do you want?